Dr. Mac, uh, Max Isa, if I could speak to you very quickly. Um, do you think that this is going to prevent uh, our access to information? Do you think big tech companies are going to be acting like gatekeepers? Well, uh, we can't really say that it will completely um, deny access to information. Uh, it will cause delays, uh, of course, because uh, for every content you are uploading, there should be filtering process where uh, every content will be checked for any copyrighted material. Uh, now, like Andy was saying, this will be uh, done using uh, machine based systems uh, because this process needs to be automated. Let's talk a little bit more about this technology. Looking at some numbers, more than 250 billion photos were uploaded to Facebook. That equates to about 350 million a day. How are they going to regulate the content mm -hmm. that's being uploaded? If the system would identify uh, copyrighted material, it means that you have, in simple terms, you have to compare between copyrighted materials and the uploaded contents to identify any percentage of copyrighted materials in this. And you need to tune your algorithms and your systems to, to say, if you have, for example, above one or two percent, then this is copyrighted or otherwise. Uh, the problem is, like I said, there will be delay because imagine processing that huge amount of uh, information uploaded on social media platforms. Imagine it doing this in real time. So memes are protected mm -hmm. because they're considered satire. And if I can point this next question at you, um, how will automated content filters be able to tell a difference between, let's say, a meme from a Drake video, from his Hotline Bling video, it's a very famous meme that's going around. How are they going to tell the difference between that meme and just a picture of Drake uh, as a still from the video, which would count as illegal material? That's, um, this is a very real problem. Um, when you look at uh, how Google, and, and you, who obviously own YouTube, have managed these kind of algorithm updates in the past, quite often, you know, being really honest, they've got it wrong. They've had to roll it back and start again. So there are, you know, there are situations that you can see quite quickly that might happen where maybe an artist uses a sample from their own song or from somebody else's song and they try and upload that as a new track. And, uh, and the algorithm can quite easily get this wrong and kick their song out. So this is one of, this is one of the issues that, that's faced. Not, you know, not, not just that issue, there's also the fact there's a good uh, 20 months until this law comes into force and who knows what's going to happen by then and where Google uh, will be in terms of their tech developments. Um, one of the big things that they've uh, really focused on is really growing out Google News to try and help them combat this, you know, this so-called fake news that goes on. Uh, and this is one of the sort of byproducts that's going to be caught in the crossfire of the Article 13 and Article 11 um, laws. And how is this going to impact everyday users of the internet, people who are logging into Facebook and Google and uploading things? How do you think this is going to impact people's day-to-day -day lives online? I don't think consumers will see a real change, to be honest. I think um, the real change will sit with creative agencies like ours that are coming up with content and with the platforms themselves like Facebook, YouTube, Google, um, you know, and, and how they manage it. I think consumers will always find a way around this and there's always, um, you know, always ways to, to sit and, and watch satire and, uh, and funny films and videos. So I don't think consumers will notice a real difference. So my final question, Andy, is do you think memes are going to become illegal? What a sad day that would be. I don't <laughs> think that's going to happen at all. And I think I would, you know, I'd have to turn off the internet for the final time if I couldn't watch any more GIFs. Well, let's, uh, let's hope we never see that day then. Uh, Andy Barr, Managing Director of Yeti's, uh, Yeti's, 10 Yeti's Digital, and uh, Dr. Max Iser, thank you very much for joining us on Showcase today. Oh.